Let's try that. Let's try that with sound. So we just finished our first portage from Smoke Lake to Ragged Lake. It's looking, it's a beautiful day as, as you can see. There's a little dam over there and there's some dam protection buoys or whatever you want to call them. Um, just a quick clip before we get moving again. All right, let's do it. Decently hung, but uh, I don't really like how the back of the tarp is, but that's fine. Hammock is really, really high. Um, just ended up a little strangely with the trees, but when you lay in it, it drops a little bit. Should be good. And that's that. There's no sound, but go ahead. <laughs> Wait, you'll illustrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do a quick illustration of the trip today on the map and then introduce our camp, our first camp. So we start off here at the Portage store, Portage Access Point 6 on Smoke Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, we traveled down. That was, that was probably the longest canoe paddle that we did all day. Yeah, that was the bulk of it. It was at the beginning, it wasn't too bad. That was good. We came down to the dam. Yeah, the dam. Craig killed the first Portage. <laughs> it was good. And then I really wanted to do, and then we just continued to paddle. There was a bit of wind, but otherwise uneventful. On Ragged, yeah. 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 Ragged Lake, it was kind of nice though. It was busy, busier than I expected, right? Yeah, we saw a lot, of, a lot of people on boats, a lot of people um, canoeing and whatnot. Yeah, I really didn't expect to see many people, but... Uh, and then we got to the Dirty 590, which is uh, colloquially known as the Devil's Staircase. Devil's Staircase was here, so I really wanted to do that one, and I took a video of it. Um, but... I hurt my back a little bit on it, but uh, I think I'll be fine. It was yeah. a bit tiring, but nothing crazy. It's only 600 meters, so it's not too bad. And then Big Porcupine, I was really tired and just willing to settle for... We wanted to go a little further south to these little ones down here, mm -hmm. but we ended up at this camping site. We had to do, yeah, we had to do this. Remember this 395? Yeah. Quick portage. Yeah. Well, it was all right. I wasn't down to portage after the big one. This guy handled it. <laughs> I handled it, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. And then we, if you can see the top of the, the sheath of the knife, we're at this campsite here, and uh, that's it. We're, we stumbled uh, across a pretty nice place. We got this kind of oven sort of fire. Yes. And uh, we rolled up. We saw this awesome oven. Uh, just drying some boots, of course. We have some pretty good benches to work with. We found some good wood to chop up. Um, it's a pretty, well, parts of it are steep entering the lake, but it's not too bad. And then, uh, we just went for a swim, set up our hammocks back there, of course. And now we're just thinking about eating some food. We found a place to hang the pack because, uh, apparently a bear ate somebody's food near here. We got a good bear hang though, I think. Yeah, we got a good branch. We should show it when we hang it, throw yeah. it in the video. And we have the child's acoustic guitar. No camping trip is complete now if we don't have this thing. Until okay. we smash it to bits, of course, by accident. So that's the camp. That's the first night's camp. 
and we're here for one additional night tomorrow night as well. So it's a good spot. Glad we're here.